Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of base plate in Tecla structures with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Before going to create the base plate, we're going to open our example. So, open our PDF example. You can see you'll get like this okay in this example we have ASMB 400 column with this type of base plate so go to our Tecla structures before going to create column we're going to create grids so click on grid right click on mouse create views so we need to create views so click on create views along grid lines now type here before grid along grid similarly type here along grid then click on create and ok you can see now we have views here close it if you want to open views once again click on window and select this view list here to open this like this and close it here now we want to create column at this location so click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column right click on most interact or you can use the escape on your keyboard to exit the command you can see now we have like this now we're going to create ro rotation point here to rotate about that point so use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point here and use the control on mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see about this point you can see like this right click on most interact now you can see now this column is transparent to get solid view use the shortcut control 4 to get solid or render view like this now go to in our example you can see in our example we have ismb 400 with the column height 5000 and bottom level 0 so double click on this column to open column property window here you can see by default we have ismb 400 in our example also we have ismb 400 for example, if you need ISMB 300, then click on here, profile card catalog, you can see three dots, you need to click on here. Then you can see these are the ISMB standard columns according to Indian standards. So for example, if you need ISMB 300, then select it, then click on apply, okay. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see, now this column should be ISMB 300, okay. For example, in our example, we have ISMB 400, so we're going to change once again. So click on here and select ISMB 400, then click on apply OK. You, you need to observe here. Click on modify to see the changes at this location. You can see, click on modify. You can see now this column should be ISMB 400. Now coming to height. In our example, we have column height 5000 and bottom level should be 0. So top level we have 5000 by default and bottom level 0 so select and 0 now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this bottom level should be 0 and from ground level to top level should be 5000 like this now close this window right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to create base plate at this location this type of base plate so Go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can directly click on here to open this application component window. In search bar type base plate and scroll it down and we need this base plate component to create this type of base plate. So select this component. You can see now cursor is plus symbol that means the command is activated. So you can see in the command, you can see pick the part. You need to select the column first, then pick the position to pick the position to create a base plate. Okay, now still this is a plus symbol cursor. So that means the command still activated. So you need to exit the command. So click on escape on your keyboard to exit the command. All right, click on interrupt like this. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to redraw this window, refresh the window. 
okay you can see you will get by default base plate like this now i want to change this base plate values to get exactly like this okay now close this window title commas interrupt now still this base plate component also transparent so we need to make it solid so use the shortcut shift to 4 for component render view like this okay now i want to edit this base plate so double click on this base plate to open this window like this otherwise once click on one one time then right click on mouse you can go to the property to open this window once again otherwise you can third option we have this component symbol you can see green green color cone you need to double click on this cone to open this property window like this next to go to parts tab in parts we need to enter this split thickness so in our example we have base plate thickness you can see 16 millimeter so enter base plate thickness 16 millimeter now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter now go to anchor step in anchor step we need to enter the anchor rod dia 20 millimeter in our example so let's take click on here and click on here circular section and select this rod and enter here there 20 millimeter then click on apply ok now click on modify to update anchors in this base plate model so we need to select this option base plate with anchor and click on modify okay if you need l band anchors click on here and select this l band anchor click on modify to see the result like this okay by default we have 500 millimeter anchor rod length if you want to change you can change from here and uh, if you have values about this length and uh, this curve radius you can enter here you can see a indicates the radius and b indicates the length of this projection like this okay now go to the nuts tab nuts profile click on here and before strike enter nut then click on enter and click on this option user defined fixed then click on here nut and you need to select here nut m20 grade 4 or grade 8 or hs depends upon your requirement you can select from this then click on apply ok then click on modify ok to update to display this nut and washer profiles in this model you need to click on here and select this s for nut and second option for washer click on modify to see the result you can see like this now coming to washer profile click on here before strike type here washer okay by default in our indian environment we don't have washer profile so we need to enter the values so remove this washer and click on here filter now click on here circular hello section click on select this option chs or you can select any one of these options these are the custom profiles so select it and okay if you know this washer profile dimensions you can directly type here if you don't know uh, go to the google and type m20 washer profile dimensions okay for example i have already have the image and dimensions of this m20 washer you can see once you type 20 dia washer dimensions you will get from google like this you can see 21 millimeter is the inner diameter means the whole diameter is the 21 meter 21 millimeter and 37 millimeter external diameter that means the external diameter is the 37 millimeter and the 3.3 millimeter is the thickness you can see this washer thickness should be 3.3 millimeter now coming to in our property window you can see diameter diameter indicates the external diameter in our example we have external diameter is the 37 millimeter so we need to enter here 37 millimeter in plate thickness case you can see this thickness indicates the outer dia and inner dia in between width so that means in our example you can see now here external diameter is 37 and inner is 21 and we require the dimension of this thickness of this width we can call it as a width of this washer in this view 
okay to take this dimension go to the calculator just open our calculator and outer dia is the 37 millimeter minus and inner diameter is the 21 millimeter and we have 16 millimeter in the case the this distance plus this, this distance but we require only this one so half of this dimension so by divided by 2 8 millimeter 8 millimeter indicates this dimension from inner to outer dia this width so we need to enter 8 millimeter in the second option then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see now this washer should be like this according to this design information now coming to thickness we have 3.3 millimeter thickness so uh, to change this thickness of this washer you need to click on here this window you can see this window indicates the thickness of this washer so enter here 3.3 millimeter then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this washer thickness should be 3.3 millimeter okay we have entered this anchor rod dia and nut and washer profiles now coming to number of anchors we need to change this number of anchors and base plate width and length so go to both tab in our bolt step bolt size we need to select this 20 millimeter and uh, bolt standard you need to select the according to your design currently i make it as a default now go to the tolerance in our example we have tolerance of this base plate is a three uh, three millimeter tolerance so enter here three millimeter that means the whole, si whole size in this base plate should be 20 plus 3. That means 23 millimeter dia half hole in base plate. Okay, now click on modify to see the result. Now coming to this base plate, you can see I section indicates this column in top view. You can see I section. Now coming to this orientation, you can see. Now go to the top view, view list and select this planet 0. To get top view like this okay this eye section indicates this eye section blue color and orientation we need to select according to this for example this is the base plate width in along flange side you can see this is the base plate width and this is the base plate length along web of this column like this okay in our example you can see we have edge distance 50 millimeter in along length side so we need to enter here edge distance 50 millimeter and here also 50 millimeter click on mod which will see the result you can see 50 millimeter now coming to number of bolts in lengthwise direction you can see number of bolts means we have number of columns here one two three and four so we need to enter here number of rows four and spacing we need to enter the spacing between the bolts you can see first the spacing between the two bolts we have 125 from this row to this row 125 next 250 next 125 so we need to enter here 125 and give space and 250 and give space and then next enter 125 you can see 125 250 125 like this now click on modify to see the result here then click on modify it you can see now here four rows one two three four now coming to in widthwise direction in widthwise direction we have edge distance in our example 50 50 so we need to enter here 50 and 50 now coming to the number of rows in this direction which side so one and two we have entirely one and this is the second one two so we have two and spacing is the 100 millimeters so we need to enter here two and the spacing 100 millimeter and click on modify to see the result here so click on modify you can see now we have like this okay now go to 3d view use the control and mouse wheel button to rotate like this now you can see now when to change the stiffeners position you can see now we have stiffeners along plan side two one and two and along website one and two you can see in our top view like this so we need to change this position so go to stiffness tab in our stiffness you can see this is the flange stiffness we need to change this dimension according to 
in our design you can see we have height 200 millimeter so let's take here 200 millimeter click on modify and by default we have this flange up to the edge of this base plate by default we have edge of this base plate so no need to change it so here there is no chamfer at the corner in our example if you have the chamfer you can enter here chamfer value if you don't have chamfer then make it zero click on modify like this now coming to the, this top corner chamfer in our example we have top corner chamfer value 50 and 50 you can see 50 and 50 so we need to enter here 50 at the top and here also 50 click on modify to see the result here you can see now have 50 50 chamfer value here now coming to this stiffeners so by default we have this along the flange so but we need to place this stiffener at the middle of this web according to in our example you can see like this at the top view you can see at this location so click on here and select this option last option like this now click on modify to see the result not this one this is the angle so you need to select this one bottom second one click on modify you can see you will get like this now coming to this width of this stiffener you can see in our example we have base plate with 200 so half of this base plate is 100 and we have web, web thickness here so we need to make it as a 95 so let's take here with the 95 millimeter and height 200 millimeter now click on modify to see the result here like this now coming to this chamfer value 50 50 at the corner so we need to make it here 50 and 50 click on modify click on modify you can see this chamfer should be 50 50 if you have any doubt just change the value for example let's take 30 and 30 click on modify to see the result so now according to our design we need to make it as a 50 so make it here 50 now click on modify to see the result you can see now 50 50 like this now coming to this stiffener thickness we need to change this stiffener thickness according to in our design you can see now we have stiffener thickness here 8 thickness stiffener typical so we need to make it as stiffener thickness 8 millimeters so go to part step in our part step you can see base plate, thick, plate here let's take here thickness stiffener thickness 8 and click on modify to see the result here you can see now have this base plate thickness is 8 millimeter if you have any doubts just make it change this value as 2 millimeter click on modify click on modify you can see now this difference making 2 millimeter that means this web plate indicates this stiffness along the web along the web direction so let's take this 8 millimeter then click on modify you can see this is the 8 millimeter now coming to this stiffener need to make it here horizontal plate make it for example let's take 2 millimeter you can see now this plate thickness 2 millimeter but according to our design information we need to make it as a 8 millimeter so make it as 8 and click on modify to see the result here 8 millimeter okay that's it now click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse zero view you can see now we have completed this base plate according to this design information now we're going to measure this dimension so go to the side view along grid a so go to view list and let's take along grid a click on here to open the view like this now first of all we need to check the total length of this column 5000 millimeter from uh, ground level to top level you can see so click on here edit and select this measurement and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here at the bottom of this base plate and pick the second point at here and left click on it here to check the dimension 5000 millimeter click on escape to exit the command now next we're going to measure this thickness of this base plate 16 millimeters so let's take the measurement and select this vertical and click on here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension 16 millimeter 
now we're going to measure this dimension also 200 millimeter height of the stiffener so click on enter to get the previous command then click the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension 200 millimeter now coming to this chamfer value 50 and 50 so pick the first point and second point to click on here to place the 50 horizontal vertical dimension now click on measure and select the horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point to click on here. click on here to place the dimension 50 millimeter horizontal and vertical chamfer value of this stiffener now coming to the thickness of the stiffener we're going to measure 80 millimeter in our design so let's take your measurement and set this horizontal and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension 8 millimeter the stiffener of this thickness okay that's it now go to the top view so click on window and select this planet zero in this direction we're going to measure uh, the base plate width and bolt spacing so overall width is the 200 millimeter so click on measure and select this horizontal and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension 200 millimeter now coming to this bolt spacing so pick the first point and next point here and pick the first point and second point here and pick the first point and last point to create the spacing you can see you have 50 150 just like this now coming to the lengthwise direction measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point second point first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension pick the first point and second point and place it first point and second point and click on here pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension like this 50 125 250 50 125 250 and 125 50 125 50 or else should be 600 millimeter okay that's it about how to create this type of base plate in the cloth structures with this pdf example i will provide this pdf example link in the description please download and practice along with this video okay thank you